Hey, what's going on guys? Today's video, we're gonna be showing you the easiest way to replace your cracked screen, cracked glass, cracked LCD, whatever it might be, it's cracked, you dropped it unfortunately. Mine is actually fully functional still, but it is horribly cracked. We're actually having a hole all the way down to the LCD top left hand corner there. So I'm gonna be showing you the easiest way to do it and that is buy yourself a completed whole entire front assembly already. Now there is one side option that we will be doing because we don't wanna potentially be bricking our iPhone if you do use the fingerprint scanner. I do not and so in my case it probably wouldn't happen but if you use your thumbprint for getting into your phone then you will need to to switch out the original home button on your iPhone to this one. So this is the one I purchased right here. It actually already has a home button, but because of potential bricking, I don't wanna use this home button. So I will be removing that original home button and then putting it on this one. Again, very simple. It's very easy to do. And I will be showing you that step to step, but it's literally just a couple of little screws there. You do need a heat gun up. Anyway, we're gonna get to that in just a little bit, guys. And also I'm gonna be making a separate video, but you probably, well, you have the screen off, you will probably want to replace your battery as as well. This is an iPhone 6, so it has some time already. The battery is slowly starting to discharge quicker than expected. Sometimes I'm on like 25, 30% and it just dropped completely down to zero turns off. So I'm gonna be replacing the battery, mine as well. This is an OEM battery. I'll have links to all this down below, but I will be making a separate video for that. Very simple, you just heat gun it up, take it out. Anyway, we're gonna be back to this right here. So a couple tools you will need. I recommend a nice little suction cup here. I got that one at like Harbor Freight but I'll try to link that as well. A nice little screwdriver here. And then I'm gonna botch the name of this, but it's like a pol polonial, pol something or other, uh, screwdriver. I'm gonna botch, uh, sorry, I botched the name. Anyway, it's a certain tip and it does come, this one actually, this battery pack actually comes with one, but it's for the two screws right down here and here next to your lightning cable import. So you will need that screwdriver for those two screws. Everything else will be a regular small Phillips and you will be good to go. So first thing what we're gonna do guys is you want to go ahead and power off your phone, take off your case, and then what we're gonna be doing is removing these two screws here. Again, that screw right there and that screw right there. Okay, with these two screws out right here, they are very small screws, so just keep track of your screws. You don't wanna have to slow your job down, have to reorder any screws. So what we're gonna do now in this circumstance is you can either, A, if you don't have a heat gun, I actually used a suction cup and just pried it on up very carefully. But uh, this time around, I'm actually going to be using my heat gun on the low setting. And again, I'm not gonna be applying too much heat, but what I wanna do is I wanna gradually work my way around the edge of the screen. Again, on the low setting, keeping it about maybe four to five inches, circling about this fast around. And what I wanna do is I wanna heat up the glue that is keeping the screen on underneath here. And so that's gonna make it a lot easier to pry up with the suction cup as well. And also I'm gonna be reselling my LCD and you're wondering why, but they will sell even with cracked glass because again, the LCD is still good. Meaning that a professional, what they'll do is they'll buy it on eBay and then they'll strip it down, take the glue out, clean it up and put a new screen on and resell it. And they'll actually make money doing that. And so you will re recoup some of your costs of your new screen that you did purchase right here. So that's why we want to be careful prying it up. We do not want to crack the LCD. If we do, you're losing out on a little bit of resale value because obviously you won't be able to sell it at all after that. So we do want to keep some of our recoup costs. All right, so let's go ahead and grab our heat gun here, which we have right here. Again, moving it about four to five inches above it, moving it around about this fast. We're gonna be doing that for about maybe 30 to 45 seconds in total, just to get it nice and warm. Not like crazy hot to the touch because we will need to hold this with the suction cup. And if you do not have a heat gun, you can use a blow dryer as well. It will put off enough heat to loosen that glue. Now 
in my case, ladies and gentlemen, I got very lucky. This might have been because of the drop or because of the heat gun. Again, it's not hot. It's definitely warm to the touch, but look at my fingers are on there. We're looking great. There's actually an edge that is, has already started to show. And so this is gonna be very easy for my pry tool to literally just pry it straight up without the suction cup. You might not get as lucky as I just did with this particular one. Each glue is a little bit different. Again, it depends, I guess, upon the dropping, etc. But if you do not have an edge that is already lift up like that, what you do is get your suction cup. Put your suction cup down this direction here. If you have a smaller one, then you can work your way in this corner, this corner. Gently pry up, holding your hand underneath the bottom of it like this while you are prying up on it. And then once you start to see a little edge, then what you wanna do is you wanna get your pry tool and you wanna get right in the bottom there. And then you wanna have some guitar picks or some of the other tools there. And now we're seeing a nice gap there. So you wanna go ahead and slip a guitar pick in where this pick is right here, and then gently work the screen up. Again, if it's not coming up easily, use a little bit more heat. And what we wanna do is we wanna back the screen up this way because all our connector cables are at the top right, right up through here. So you wanna be careful bringing it up. And again, we wanna resell that so we don't wanna crack that LCD. So we're gonna bring it up like, this. again, be gentle with it. I did heat gun two times and now it's coming up like this here. And again, all your connectors are right up there in the top corner right here. So we're gonna go ahead and lay this down, put some support on the back here so it doesn't flop completely down and ruin those flex ribbon cables because again, we do want to sell it. Okay, now before we do proceed, we want to go ahead and disconnect the battery from the motherboard because we don't want any electrical shocks while we're in there. I had a misfortunate in my iPad mini, blew a fuse, you want to be careful about that. So what we're going to do here is we're going to grab our little Phillips screwdriver. We're gonna go ahead and remove that screw right there and that screw right there. And this little metal plate will lift up and then we'll have our battery connector right there. We'll go ahead and unclip that so the battery will be 100% disconnected from the motherboard. And also, if you are gonna be replacing it, you obviously need to do that as well. What I like to do is I like to put it in the order it pulled it out. So this screw is actually longer facing that direction. This screw is smaller. That's the exact the way I would literally place it back in there like that. Okay, so with that little metal piece out of the way here, we see the little tab for our battery right here. We will want to be using a plastic little pry tool and unclip. And now with the metal piece off, ladies and gentlemen, we want to go ahead and use a plastic piece to unclip the ribbon cable right here for our battery. So we'll take our guitar pick or whatnot and we'll go ahead and literally just get in there. I'll have to set the camera down to do it. We'll flip that tab up and then we'll put that tab out of the way. And that's the little tab flipped up from that little location right there. Now what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and remove this shield right here to get out our ribbon cables there, our little for the front screen assembly. So we have one screw there, we have one screw there, 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 and there. So total of one, two, three, four, and five. Let's go ahead and remove those and that metal will remove. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, with that little plate off, we have it set right over here. Put your screws in order. Those screws are all different sizes where at least one of them is larger with what looks to be three different sizes. So put them in order right over there and then we're gonna go ahead and take a look at this little section right here. There are four ribbon cables we need to remove. What's awesome about putting in a brand new one is you just look at your brand new one and you realize that there are one, two, three, four taps. If you ever get confused, look at your new one for the way you need to take off and put back on. So right here, we're gonna go ahead and start with the top one here, which is this one right here. Let's go ahead and take our pry tool, remove that top one there. Sorry, the camera angles are gonna be a little bit tricky, especially with getting in there nice and tight. So there's tab number one right there. And then underneath, we have to the right-hand side, we have the other one right there. Let's go ahead and flip that one up now. Make sure that you are supporting the back of it again as you're doing this. Okay, there's two. And then we need to go ahead and flip up this one, this one right in front of the other one we did. That is three. And then we're gonna go ahead and pop that one up just a little bit, get that out of the way. And we're gonna go for number four there. And this is again, when you need the support on the back because it will fall if you don't have that support. Okay, there is one, two, three, and four. 
and then it just pops right off like that. Again, one, two, three, and four. And that is our screen there, ladies and gentlemen, looking absolutely fantastic. All right, now with our new battery in, if you've needed to do that fix as well, we do need to go ahead and switch out the home buttons now. So again, we see the new one right here on our brand new screen. And then let's go ahead and grab our old one here, which is right here. We're gonna go ahead and turn them both around. Be careful of your screws up top there. So we're gonna go ahead and take out that screw right there and that screw right there. That removes this metal tab here. And then we're gonna go ahead and use the heat gun to heat up the double sticky area right underneath the home button here and the little rubber portion underneath this for the home button so it's easily able to go ahead and take it out gently. And then we're gonna go ahead and flip flop that one to this one. Okay, with our plates removed on both of them now, what we're gonna do again, we're gonna use the same distance with our heat gun. And what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and pry up the glue underneath this little area here. And there is a little tab right where my finger was, which is right here. That tab flips up and then that carefully, go ahead and use one of your pry tools again with the heat and that will release, that will go ahead and remove. There is stickiness underneath that. And then what you wanna do is you wanna be very careful about this kind of this rubber rim area here. And you wanna go ahead and pry that up very gently. And again, the stickiness will hold. I transferred my wife's original home button over with no issues. You just wanna go ahead and secure it on the other one exactly the way this is. And then push it down again on the stickiness and then re-clip that in. So I'm gonna go ahead and swap them out here. We'll go ahead and do that now. I definitely recommend the heat gun method, guys. This fix is going so much easier than my wife's 6S using the hair dryer. Again, low heat, and I only did it for about maybe 10 or 12 seconds, and it's just coming up beautifully, not having to pry much at all. All right, here's a little trick for you guys here. So here's that little tab lifted up after I disconnected it. Then what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and take it over like this while it's still warm, and then use your thumb and pop it up gently or your pointy finger, it doesn't matter. And mine just came up very, very easily. And then go ahead and very carefully remove it here just like I just did there. That's absolutely very, very simple to do. Now let's go ahead and do the other one and then go ahead and put this one in the other one. Okay, and just set it on in there and then make sure you have the stickiness down on that little tab there. There's a little bit of a notch white right where my fingernail is. Make sure that hole goes through that little notch. Clip that little one back in. Both are the same on the new one and the original. This is the original again over here on my new screen. And now what we're gonna do, ladies and gentlemen, is we're gonna go ahead and take our bracket here and we're gonna go ahead and re-screw in our bracket there using the proper holes, of course. And what that does is that prevents that little tab from coming up off the home button and gives you a nice click on your home button right there. Okay, before putting on the screen, you wanna go ahead and test your home button click. Perfect. For some reason, if you're not getting a clean click, you might wanna loosen up those screws just a little bit. I'm talking just like maybe a half turn so that the little clicker can go ahead and be really flush underneath there. I had no issues with the genuine, but the one that I switched over that is non-genuine Apple, I had to switch it up and I had to go ahead and loosen those up. And now it's a lot better now. Okay, fantastic. Now it's time to go ahead and sell this one. Let's get that one out of the way. And now it's time to go ahead and reconnect our tabs here. Again, the first one we're gonna do is this one right there. Then we're gonna go number two, three, and last one, number four up top there. All right, get your support again for the back of it here. And it's gonna be a little hard to get this on camera up close, but go ahead and just reseat those ribbon cables in. Just line them up and they should click into place. Some of them you'll hear a clip, you might not. Just push firmly on the top. There's one very slight click, not much at all. Number two, no click on that one. Number three had a click, the one on the far right edge. And then the last one, that one had a nice click on there as well. And then go ahead and just gently push on them. Make sure they're seated in there really nicely. Okay guys, now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and put on 
our little shield right here again, which goes on in the exact same direction we had it before. Let's go ahead and put our screws in the exact same way we took them out. Okay, now with all five screws in and that metal plate on, we're looking great, guys. So now all we need to do is go ahead and reseat your battery now. Go ahead and reconnect that ribbon cable there. And that snapped really nicely in place. And if this little thing is up top, go ahead and just push that in gently right there. Seating that, now we need to put on the metal plate for the battery as well which we'll go ahead and put on right now. Now what I like to do here is I like to go ahead and start here and you're folding it down. You wanna line up that top edge and then go ahead and just carefully go ahead and seat it back on down. And then we'll go ahead and push firmly on the edges here and then screw our screws back in. Okay, with the two screws back in right there and there, nicely tightened down, nicely flush all the way around. You still have your little plastic protector, of course, on the top of it here. Now what you're gonna do, ladies and gentlemen, is just go ahead and turn on the phone. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. You have officially fixed your screen yourself and saved a ton of money. And also, if you have incorporated a battery, you have fixed your battery and has saved a lot of money. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and wait till it fires up and we're looking great. You can go ahead and remove this, of course, off of the screen. And now you're looking at a beautiful phone. We're just gonna make sure everything is legitimate with the home button before we do get started here. And it looks great, ladies and gentlemen. Fresh glass on there, spot on. The battery that I did put in does need to be charged, it looks like. It didn't have much of a charge in storage. So guys, that is how you put in a new screen or battery. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Consider subscribing because I got a lot of videos on the channel and I got ones for iPhone 5s and I think I even have a 4S on there. But anyway, not too many of us have those anymore. But if you are interested in the channel, guys, a thumbs up would be much appreciative if you enjoyed the video, if it did help you. And also on the channel, I do review some other little products like this carbon fiber iPhone case, which I love. Anyway, check it out. Thumbs up the video. I appreciate you guys. You have a wonderful night. Take care. Bye-bye.